Hello everyone, Gene Molina here from Natural Tennis Solutions. Ground reaction force in tennis. Why have we not heard of the ground reaction force in tennis? I don't know. All I know is I've been researching this for a full year now and it is amazing. I got to do a seminar with a martial arts expert from South Korea. His name is DKU. He has a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. A lot of the things he does are fast and quick as lightning but using your full body the whole it's called kinetic chain but i researched it a little bit and i i could have sworn it's not really called the kinetic chain it's called the kinematic chain um, i still have to do a little more research on it but anyway so the energy that you put into the ground should come back up into your body are you ready so i'm going to show you the ground reaction force this is how it's done. I'm sure you're paying attention. Watch. Did you see it? You didn't see it? All right, watch again. Ready? I know, a little silly. The kids tell me all the time, that just looks weird. But it is, it is. But it's not if you want to use it for sports. So my body is pushing down into the ground and the same energy that goes into the ground gets pushed back up into my body, but only if I let it. I can do it and not let it come back up. I can tighten up my muscles. So I can do what I was doing before and tighten up my muscles and the energy doesn't come back up because I'm not relaxed enough. So I'm going to teach you how to get this done, the ground reaction force. I'm going to teach you how it's done in another video, but right now I needed to introduce it. I need you to realize it's Newton's third law, right? Every action is always followed by the equal and opposite reaction. So when I push down into the ground, the same energy I put down into the ground comes back up and that's the ground reaction force. I know it might look a little silly, but this force is true. And all I know is, is that if I go to hit a ball and I don't really try that hard, but I use my ground reaction force, that that is what I can get out of it. So my ground reaction force gives me plenty of speed, plenty of power, but without really having to use a lot of upper body muscles. My lower body is being used. Of course, you're going to have to run and get in position and use 100% energy to get there. But once you get there, if you know how to harness the ground reaction force, this game is going to get a lot easier for you and a lot more fun. It, it's become so much more fun. I already had fun playing tennis, but now, oh my goodness, it is, it is just amazing. And then the pieces that start to develop after you learn the ground reaction force, just natural things that starts, start to work with your body, it, it just becomes a, a whole nother game. So stay tuned, get ready for the next video where you're going to learn the implicit type or feel-based type of movement that I'm going to show you that will help you learn how to use the ground reaction force in your stroke. Good luck. Stay loose.